this contour, this area, the last one, this is the left ventricle, which is the main pumping chamber of the heart. It's shaped like a half a football. Imagine a football has a little point. If you had a half, half of a football, that's the shape. It points, doesn't point straight to the, to the patient's left. It actually points down and a little bit towards you. So you don't see quite the round football shape. But here's the apex. And as we peel back, we're getting sort of a circle, but we're actually a little bit off the axis. So there's a left ventricle. And you can see how that curve, part of the wall, makes that last border on the left side of the cardiac silhouette. We rotate it around. And again, now you can see the sort of the football shape to it. And it points not straight to the left, but a little bit off axis. All right, here's a, a new chest radiograph. It's abnormal. Is this contour a little bit too prominent? You got to go with it because it doesn't show up very well. And it's something that's hard to see on a frontal radiograph. But trust me, if you look elsewhere, there are other abnormalities. But this border is a little too, too round, a little too concave. You can also see how the border goes below the diaphragm, and the tip is actually way down there. This patient had a dilated cardiomyopathy, which makes the heart, the left ventricle, very big and very thin and poorly contracting. The left ventricular ejection fraction was 15%, with normal being 50%, very abnormal. The left ventricular end diastolic dimension, which is like the internal diameter of the cavity, was 71 millimeters, where the upper limit of normal is 53. So very dilated, very poorly functioning. If we peel back our CT scan, there's the right ventricle. In the back, that lump, which is not white. And the reason it's not white is that there was almost no contrast on the left side of the heart because their heart was pumping so poorly that it didn't circulate very well. But there's that contour. If we peel back a little bit, we see this round thing is the left ventricle. And again, you can see that the right atrium and our little cross section of the pulmonary artery are nice and white. But this contrast isn't circulating because the heart pump is so poor that the left ventricle here, the cavity, should be white, and we should see blood in the, in the aorta, which comes out of the left ventricle, but we don't. We're going to circulate, move over to sort of a lateral. Now we have a two-chamber. We see the left ventricle and the left atrium. We're going to overlay a cine cardiac MRI. It lets you get an idea of how things are beating, which is almost not at all. This white area on your left, the patient's right, is a big uh, pleural effusion that they had at the time of the MRI, but not at the time of the CT scan we're looking at. That measurement in diastole, when the chamber is biggest, was 71 millimeters. And you can see that it changes very little from diastole to systole. The squeeze is terrible. If we rotate around the other way, down to the front, now we're looking from the right side. Now we're going to tilt a little bit, tilt a little bit. There we go. Now this is a pretty standard echocardiography view called the long axis. The left atrium is flapping. This little flap is left atrium. The flapping pieces of the mitral valve and this big uh, black area is the aorta. Left atrium, left ventricle. And the left ventricle is pumping out to the aorta. And the function is terrible. We're going to come back, move to a lateral. Fill in the chest X-ray. Okay, here's another abnormal. There should be a nice contour of a left ventricle, but now we see this big, big opacity, which is not obscuring the aortic arch. You can see the aortic arch through it, but the left ventricle you can't see through it. That means whatever this is, is could be part of, but more likely something else that's touching the left ventricle. And when they're touching each other, you can't see them as distinct structures. You have to have a, an interface between the lung and your structure to see it. This loss of silhouette tells us that this mass abuts the left ventricle. What is that? Here's a CT scan, an axial CT scan. We have left ventricle, right ventricle, right atrium. And the white here is left ventricle. And this big gray thing on the left displacing the heart is a big pericardial cyst, a big fluid-filled structure. It was so big that this patient was getting short of breath that their left ventricle wasn't able to open normally because of that. Here's an echo, the left ventricle, the right ventricle on your right-hand side, and this big hypoechoic black area was the cyst. This is a nuclear medicine perfusion scan. There's a tracer that goes to the, to the 
heart muscle, so it looks like a, like a horseshoe. That's the left ventricle. And you can, this is technetium 99 sustamibi, it's called a horizontal long axis view. So there's the septum, there's the lateral wall, and right there, you can almost imagine that there's mass effect and there's not enough counts because you see there's counts everywhere else, but nothing at all there, it's all black. So can you see the cyst or is it just imagination? Well, maybe a little imagination. So here's our patient with this big mass, this big pericardial cyst. Some physicians came, put a catheter in it, drained the fluid out. So they stuck a catheter through the ribs, boom, poked the cyst, drained the fluid out, and boom, voila, this is what you're left with. The cyst was drained and the shortness of breath improved. So there's our normal radiograph with our cardiac contours drawn in for you. Hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much. Again, my name is Philip Arouse, and I'm from the Mayo Clinic, Department of Radiology.